this tour get juicy is all about just me and my music and um, going back to my roots of my orig original juicy sound which is very heavy tribal house sound that I used to do back in 2003 four five six around there and uh, so it's all just about about having fun and just bringing the sound in, into the crowd and just you know doing my own thing not caring about any you know current styles of music it's just playing whatever the hell I want you know I've seen it all you know I've been around for a while so it was great it's great that, that the music um, um, became so popular and, and, and so you know, great great ride I'm never I've not always been so comfortable on stage when I started um, performing one of my first shows was in Barcelona and um, it was a while back and it was me and Eric Murillo and it was for a radio station it was like 30,000 people and it was probably my third show I was freaking out you know when I got there you know I had you know I wanted to throw up you know I was anxious all that stuff but you know as, as time passed you know it's it's I love being on stage I sometimes I get a little, a, little, a little bit nervous before but the minute I get into the booth boom it's all gone I, I try to tell um, fans and, and producers as well um, to try to be as, as original as possible when they're performing or, or making music, but not to go so crazy and, and stand out so much that nobody's going to book you, because um, that, that could happen as well. Social media for me is, is, is a, a very uh, important part of my, my job. It takes you know at least two or three hours a day just to be posting music, pictures, interacting, you know, um, doing interviews, blogs, all that. So it's 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 very important for me to be you know talking to the fans and, and, and reading their feedback. Yeah, it's very important to uh, to, to connect with the fans.